Happy Friday, everyone. Our tech expert, Stan Prager, joins us now today with some timely technical tips. Yes, everything you need to know. These are five things you must know about your own technology in order to survive in today's very high-tech world. Just five tips? I'd imagine there'd be a million Hundreds, in this high-tech world. Well, millions. I mean, look, yeah, it's not a, it's not an all-inclusive, okay? <laughs> I, I, I want to be just kind of optimistic about what we can talk about, but honestly, a lot of people are, are very, you know, intimidated by technology and what have you, but yeah. it's kind of like your car. You know, if you're not a mechanic, you still need to know certain things about your car. Like, you need to be able to get gas when you run out of gas, right? right? And you, right, and you need to know after 3,000 miles I should get an oil change. Stuff like that, right? Same thing with your computer. You don't have to be an expert, but there's a few things you should know. So I came up with five things, okay? All right. All right. So number one, yeah. and probably the most important, you need to know what your Wi-Fi password is. So, um, or, yeah, I mean, you don't have to memorize it, but you need to be able to find it in under three minutes. Well, sometimes we don't set our Wi-Fi password, right? right? It's provided by the provider itself, and it's a nonsensical string of letters and numbers exactly but you need to know wherever it is whether you provided it or whether they provided it you need to know how to find it so that when you get a new device you don't have to pay somebody like us to go to your house right. to find out what it is for okay, you check I know where it is it's a pain to go get it and turn my whole box thing around and yes. get the four million digits but I know where it is so we can check that. Okay, you're Good. one step ahead of the game yeah and by the way take a picture of it with your smartphone oh, then yeah. Then you're all then, then, then you're all set. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Then you've got it. Okay. So that's number one. A uh, number two, your email password. You can check your email anywhere in the world, right? Sure. But you, if you don't know your password, you can't. So it's saved on if you're using an email program like Outlook or something like that, or in your web browser. But you might not know what it is. Few people do, but it should be in your wallet or somewhere. So if you're at the library or at a friend's house or wherever, there's an emergency. You want to check your email? You can do yeah, it. I'm okay. guilty of that. I don't know what my password is anymore. I forgot. Well, Just yeah. I can't even get in. into my own right. email because my phone does it for me now. So you don't exactly. think about it. Unless I have to log yeah. on at a different location. Exactly. So you don't have to actually memorize it. Like I said, I don't even know people's phone numbers when I lost my phone. I, I couldn't reach my wife. But right. I, so who might have talked? I know. Who might have yeah. talked? So she forgave me though. But but maybe it should be in your wallet. Okay. So you, you have access to it. Okay. All right. Step That's number three. Two. Yeah. So number three, you want to know what kind of security you're running on your computer. And like whether it's been updated. So, for mm -hmm. instance, whether you're running Viper, which we recommend, or Norton or McAfee, which I recommend less. The point is, is that everybody has some kind of security on their system. Mm -hmm. Many people have no idea what it is or when it's time to renew it. That's a bad thing. Yeah, so guilty we of can't that. help. I you. don't even know that I have security well, on my computer. That's even worse. Guilty. That's is that something automatic? Or no, do you have to no, install it yourself? Like sound? everything else in life, nothing is automatic. <laughs> True. Nothing's great, nothing's right, automatic. I'm not doing too well on this and, list. And as we discussed earlier on another show, even though you're a Mac girl, Macs are not impervious right. to uh, infection, although it happens less frequently. But, yeah, so that's important, okay? Um, number four. You need to know what operating system you have on your computer if you want someone to help you. So if you call on the phone for tech support to us or anybody else, the first question they'll ask you is, what operating system are you running? Many people are like, what's an operating system? Okay, <laughs> They just don't know what it means. It's not their fault. Okay, and Where do we find it? Well, it, when your computer boots up, it'll generally tell you. So if you have Windows, you have like Windows XP. If you have mm -hmm. a really old computer, or Windows 7, or Windows 8, or Windows 10. Okay, If you're a Mac girl, you're going to have like one of the Mac OSs, OS 10, right. whatever. You know, um, And it's actually less important with a Mac than it is with Windows because everything's different in Windows every time they change and it. Macs are just more convenient and easy and yep. Says not, you. Not that you, <laughs> not that, you. Not that you feel strongly about that. <laughs> not at all. No, not no at I know all. you're just kind of saying it casually. All right, so, what's number five? Number five is what browser are you using and this matters for everybody, okay? Mm. Most people when I ask them what browser are they using, they freeze up completely. What's a browser, okay? And a browser is just simply how you get on the internet. Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome, Safari mm -hmm. in the Mac world, whatever. So if you if you know the these information when you call for tech support, people can help you because you'll be able to answer yeah. that basic questions. Okay, it's not a guarantee, and like I said, it's not all inclusive. These five things are not going to carry you through your whole life. But if you know these five things, you'll be ahead of many people, and you'll be better prepared when you need help. All right, it's always great information, Stan. We try. All right. Thank <laughs> you so much, you Stan from Go Geeks in East Long Meadow. All right, coming up a little bit later.